Hi, I'm the Welsh Craftsman. Um, this is my first YouTube attempt of making a video. Please excuse me if I get a few things wrong, but hopefully in time I'll improve. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, basic stitching. Uh, the stitching I'm going to show you is saddle stitch, running stitch and whip stitch. These are the basic stitches I use to make my bags. Uh, the tools that you need, obviously, well, first of all, you need leather. You need leather to start off with. Uh, these are just scrap leathers. They're probably about, I don't know, about uh, four mil, three and a half, four mil thick. These are the stuff that I've got lying about, amongst other things as well. And to make the holes, you can use an awl just to do a hole through it. You could do it all by hand, which is obviously time consuming and end up stabbing your finger, which is uh, makes a mess. So that's one way of using it. Or what I use is these diamond chisels. So I'll just show you, uh, where's the lens there? I'll just show you. These are the diamond chisels that I use to make the hole. And they're quite good. Um, you know, not too expensive. Got a set for about, I don't know, 14 pounds. So you can get them from any internet shops, which are quite useful. I won't name any. Right then, what we need to do is, first of all, is make the holes for the chisels. Now then, we've got the chisel there. I'll just need to get a hammer. Right then. So you need a, well, this is the one I had lying about. The bigger the better, I say. And then what you do is you uh, line up. I've done, already started the holes on these here. But I'll continue to do the rest. You just line them up. Hit them with a hammer, so you go all the way through, give them a wiggle, and then you've got your, I don't know if you can see that, let me see, you've got your holes and your stitch in there. Now then I'm only going to do a few just to show an example. So that side's done, and then I'll just do the same on this side, obviously I've just marked it there by hand, and then I'll just hit it with a hammer afterwards. Making sure, obviously, that if you do use these chisels, you use it on hard surface, surface and make sure you um, cover it with leather. Because last thing you want to do is, dump, is uh, blunt these, which I did with my other pair, and uh, they're no good. So I'll just do a few holes again, just one more. And then with that tool now used up, just for the time being, for demonstration purposes only, Put that on the side. I'm going to put my good hammer on the side as well. you got these leather pieces here. I've done the stitching for it. Now then, what I'm going to show you first off is the saddle stitch. I generally use them a lot with uh, making knives, uh, making sheaths for knives even. Uh, I, do them, I use them a lot with uh, making bags as well. The saddle stitch is great because if one thread goes on one end where it's been cut or damaged, the other thread tends to keep all the other threads in um, in a lockable, safe kind of condition. I'll explain that a bit further on. Right then, what you need are two sewing leather needles. These generally come free with um, every thread that you buy from the internet. Generally, they come free with it. I've got about probably about twenty lying about. Uh, the the uh, threads that you can get it's this Ritza um, it's just a plastic um, leather sewing thread and then you can get different kind of things as well where you get different colours where it's like a, a goldish brown what's that like a khaki colour and also black but they come in different colours as well but just for this purpose what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the Ritza and so that it will show up on the stitching Right then, what you need to do is find out where it begins and where it ends. 
Another tool you need is a Stanley knife, um, like a cutting knife. Invaluable. You'll always use it. You'll always need it. Right, put that on the side. Now then, threading. Um, just to show you how I thread it, how most people thread it. If you're not too sure, then uh, I'll show you. What you do is you first you thread it through the hole. And obviously, with me showing you how to do it now, it won't go through it. Yeah, look, there, great. Now then, the thread is through a hole. Then what I do then is I'll make a hole. I'll see if I can show you. You see the thread there? I'm going to do a hole through the thread. So it goes all the way through like that. Let me just show you. Do do do. Yeah, so that's gone through. So then when I pull it and pull it all the way through like that, it's literally sewn on itself onto the thread. There we are. And you pull it, and that's one end done. <clears throat> you do the same on the other. And obviously, try and thread it through. There we are. And you do a hole through here. Pull it all the way through. You pull that through. So you've got two needles. This You generally need two needles in, in most stitching. Well, I do anyway. But for the saddle stitch, I'll use generally two needles. And to make these holes a bit bigger, this is when it comes into effect. Just stretch those holes open a bit, just to make stitching a bit easier. This is just for test purposes, you know, because you know, obviously I would have made the holes a bit further in, made a much neater job of it. But then, so this is just for example purposes only. So, if you ever get a chance to do your stitching, just uh, you know, practice as much as you can. Right then, let's do the same with this side. Obviously, mind your fingers. That's the thing you want to do, stab yourself. Blood goes everywhere, it's a mess. Trust me. Oh, yeah, and it hurts as well. That, you know, that's the major downfall. Right, brilliant. Right, then, with this stitching, usually I put it in a, like a wood vise just to hold it in place while I'm stitching it. But what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just hold it and show you what to do. Right, then, you got the two pieces together. Put them side by side, and then you feed one needle through one. There we are. Needle through the other, and then what you do is you pull it all the way through. Uh, so that it's just generally equal. And then what you do then is you feed. You always start in a pattern. I always go right and then left right and then left it just ten tends to keep a good rhythm so first we go right pull it through there we are and pull the way through there and then you get the, the one that's on the left side to go right and you stitch that through now then obviously that's already gone through there right going through to left so the left one now is going through one of the holes to the other side. Then you pull that and you give it a good pull, just a firm pull. Okay, so what you've done is you've stitched that side and you stitch that side. So you go over it again, right to left. And then left to right there we are. give it a just a firm pull and I'll just keep on going and I'll just show you the pattern afterwards right to left left to right Again, 
to leg. And last time, from left to right. There's your saddle stitch. So as you can see, it's all stitched on that end. Well, let's tidy that end because I'm quite close to the edge there. But there's your saddle stitch, and they're quite tough, you know. You know, you can just see it there. So what I was saying before was the stitch overlays the other stitch. So if, if one stitch, if let's say if that broke then the other thread would go over it and hold it into place um, while it continues going through all the other holes. So uh, that's quite a tough one when, you, when you've done all the stitching all the way around. Right, okay, so that's our saddle stitch. Right then, running stitch, I'll show you that one now. So what I'll do is, with the running stitch, I'll just generally use one, really. One is needed. So put that to the side there now then with, with the running stitch uh, we do the same thing again uh, for this purpose I'll just um, I'll just do two uh, I'll just do a few holes really just to speed this up a bit Yeah, these diamond things, they come in different sizes, by the way, you know, they come as a set. If you buy them as a set, about £15, something like that. I've got another one hiding somewhere. There we are. So that's the set there. So. One side. Let's do the other side now. A bit close again to the edge there. <clears throat> Hope you can hear me all right on this. Got a deep enough voice, I'm sure you can hear me quite well. Right then, put that aside, put a good hammer on the side. Right then, okay. So we've got stitching on that end, stitching on that end. What I'll do is I'll just make the holes very big, is all. You know, if you haven't got an hole, you can, uh, you can just get an old screwdriver, grind it down to a point, or file it down to a point. Um, you can buy them from a shop, they're probably cheap enough, probably a tenner or something like that. If you can't afford a tenner, you can, yeah, just make it yourself, you know. Uh, if you guys want to know how to make one, or would have an, you know, want to have a general idea how to make one, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll make, pretty much show you how to make one. Right then, stitching together. Right then. With a, uh, let me see, with a running stitch, it's quite, quite simple really. Uh, just put a knot on one end. What I tend to do is, I think it's like a fishing knot. I remember it fishing it. You just go over. No, you start off with the thread like that. You bend it like that. Yeah. Go around once. Oops. Go around twice. Three time. Three times a charm, and then back in the hole there. And then you just pull it, and you got yourself a decent knot there. Okay, and what I generally do, do is I start on the inside so that the knot's nice and hidden. You know, trim it off as well. It might be a test piece, but you know, you, you're making sure that it's looking decent, so you might as well attempt to make it like that. Right then, with a the running stitch, it's quite easy. It's just literally in and out. So you go in with one stitch through to that end. Yeah, and what you do is you go through that and you go back. The 
Let's do it again. And then back again. So really you could say this is a bit like a saddle stitch, but you're only using, you only go in one way. Obviously if you want to go the other way again, it becomes a saddle stitch in some effect. Um, not as strong probably. And then you just go through again. So there we are, there's your uh, running stitch. Yeah, quite strong, isn't it? Ooh. It's quite strong that, obviously when it's all tied down and put in place, it's quite a strong stitch. Okay, so that's your running stitch. All right, so we've got two stitches there. Last one is a whip stitch. Um, I don't know what else it's called really. I just saw it on the internet and uh, tried it out and it's called a whip stitch. That's what it says on the book anyway. And then just uh, attempt to... Tell you what, let's use that. There we are. Let's use that. Let's, let's try and use as much as we can of the thread. You know, they're, they're expensive. Well, they're not too expensive, but you don't want to be wasting things, do you? Right, do the do the knot again. Go around the collar once, twice, three. And then you bring it back into the hoop underneath. The hoop that you've been holding with your thumb and index finger. And you pull it through, he says. And there we are. And then when you pull it through, it becomes knot. Great. Grand. Fantastic. Really, right then. So uh, the whip stitch, whip stitch is the same thing again. So let's do this really quickly, shall we? Let's not waste your time a bit while you're watching it. Okay, hammer bash, bish bash bosh. Let's give that a good hammering. Some satisfaction using the hammer. We've had a busy day. We gotta hit something. We gotta get the aggression out. Obviously, on the leather work from them, nothing else. So that's on one end. I just want to do the same on the other end. So there we are. That went all the way to the metal then. It almost did. So that's done. Right, let's move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. Need these. Oh yeah, hammer. I'm gonna hide from this all day for a while. Okay, so you've got your stitch here. Right, let's present these two together. Obviously we need to make the holes a bit bigger as well, that'll help. Generally you don't have to do this, it's just I'm doing it because sometimes it gets snagged. Sometimes it gets a bit tight with it being a thick leather. You know, the thinner, thinner leather obviously is easy to stitch. It's quite quite nice to stitch, but then something satisfying, satisfying about a, a thicker leather bag or leather stitch that you're doing, you know, it's going to keep. It ain't going to break on you or anything like that. Man. So. Great. Again, line these up. And then go through the inside as you did before. Cut that off because, as I said before, even though it's a, a test piece, you want to look at it a bit neater. Now then, with this, with a whip stitch it goes right over so it comes over what happens is I don't know if you can see there you can see one hole one hole one there and one there and then when this is all lined up this goes diagonal goes diagonal like like that to the other hole and then it goes goes through again so I'll just show you so 
the stitch this is one and it goes over and it goes through there goes through there and it goes through so you've got a I don't know if you can see that diagonal kind of stitch you go around again go through go through again Bring a nice line up, nice pull, so you can see the stitch going over. You see it slightly on a diagonal then. You know, if you want it a bit more, you just probably space out the holes and you get even more of a di diagonal kind of stitch over. But I just tend to like it nice, small stitch. It's neater, it's tidier. All right, so we go through the hole again. Tighten that. Go diagonal again. You generally go diagonal anyway because you've missed that hole. You're creating a diagonal. Go over again. He says, there we are, wonderful. And that tightens up there. And we go again. One more. And that stitches there. There we are. And that's your I don't know if you can see it, let me see now, there we are, that's your whip stitch, some places call it, I think they call it whip stitch in America, whip stitch anyway, so that's it, and then of course this is your running stitch, okay, and then your saddle stitch. bit messy there got a bit close to the edge there but yeah generally that's how you do it okay so those are three stitches i hope you enjoyed this uh, first youtube video um hopefully i'll be a bit more enthusiastic next time but you know how it is your first video you do worry about it if you've got any questions any any comments please do not hesitate to uh, share them with me constructive criticism is always welcome we're here to improve we're here to become better at what we do all right then thanks for watching it's tom the welsh craftsman i'll see you again bye bye